Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, just a real quick commentary video about a few questions. And it's not for us to linger on these questions. I don't think it's the, the healthiest of things to think about this all the time. But from time to time, it is pretty good to kind of check in, if you will, with where you're at. Like how long, what is the time frame that you can last? Like how how much adversity can you handle with your skills and knowledge, with your preparedness, you know, your physical material support that you've, you know, accumulated over time? So how long could you last? That's the real question for us personally. And there's another part of this, though, that's really important is that if your neighbors I mean, if it's really obvious that your neighbors are not prepared on any level, then that's going to be a problem for you when they see. And of course, you can make effort to be not around these people. But if they start to become aware that you're not struggling, that you're doing fine, but they're not like you're the only person on the street, for example, that is not suffering then people are going to start to ask questions and they might come to your door and they might want to ask for things. You know, they might want things. And at first you might be able to say no, but when they get to a certain point of desperation, they may want to take things by force. Uh, this is just the nature of humans. And this is what's happened all throughout history. So this is nothing new, but it's certainly a question to ask is how long could your neighbors last? So it's one thing about your own personal responsibility to take care of your family. But when other people want to take those things so that you can't even feed your kids, well, their problems are now your problems. Do you have a plan for this? Now, there's a lot of people, what they do is they put back extra food as a buffer for their neighbors or for unexpected individuals that might just show up during an SHTF event. But at some point you will run out of food or whatever supply you put back extra surplus for other people. It, it will run out. So what is your plan on how to deter people? At some point you may either have to leave your location if it gets too dangerous, if there's too many threats if there's active force against you, you know, if there's active violence, um, that's something that, you know, you don't want to fool around with. You know, if there are mobs of people that are actively trying to do you harm or even worse because they know you have resources and they're so desperate, they will do whatever it takes to get those. You may have to leave. It's very undesirable. And it's something that you would have to really think this through. You wouldn't want to leave your home unless you really have no other option. But it's just one of, of many things to consider. And so this is more of, of opposing some questions here and more than me telling you what is going to work best for you, because we're all in different situations. Some of us live alone. Some of us have families. And so some of us are just a bit more flexible than others. Some of us have a lot more resources than others. And so it is something that we may not be able to fully know what our neighbors have. Because there could be some closet preppers on your street and you would just never know it. But typically you can size people up to a large degree and get a good estimate of who's prepared and who's not on your street. And if you are going to stand out, if you think that you're the most prepared person on your street, you might have problems if things go south, if you know what I mean. Now, where I live on my street, I pretty much have sized up everyone and got to know a lot of people, too, on my street. I pretty much have met everyone on my street. And there's a number of people on my street that I talk to on a regular basis. I don't talk to them every day or even every week, but typically at least once a month. And a lot of times it's something as simple as, when I'm at the mailbox and they drive them by, they stop and we'll chat for like 10, 20 minutes. Just something as simple as that. And that makes a big difference. So I would encourage you to kind of look around and become aware of what is going on in your neighborhood, especially your street. 
And what I've noticed is that there's a lot of prepared people on my street. There's a few that aren't, but more than half of the people have a pretty good capability to weather at least a few months of hardship. And there's others on the street that can weather a lot longer time period. So just some things to think about. Thanks for your support. I'll talk to you later.